This is going to be a tutorial on how to build a, uh, a grid view of your pulling out of your SQL database with a attached form view. Here's the form view down here and we have options like edit, uh, you know, update the data, um, let's change this to five, click update and it updates automatically um, on the parent um, grid view and also create a new form to insert new records or just delete a record. Basically I'm going to go through all this interface with doing minimal coding. Alright, I'm going to create my new project. Okay, I'm going to try the ASP web template that I found online. Let's see if this is the right one. This is the same one we did. Okay, so basically you just got your uh, site master here. Let's see, we don't need any of this stuff. We just need this default file. All right, close this over. So I'm gonna add, first thing I'm gonna add is the um, data, Why do the grid view copy and paste it over. So I'm going to select a data source, create a new data source, and we're going to connect it up to our SQL database. And we'll call this uh, SQL data source one, that's fine. Connection string, we're going to create a new connection string. And this is just on the um, local, on a local MySQL Express server. So I'm going to select the SQL Server and the server. Do local host. Use Windows Authentication. Select database. And the database I created for this was Bug Tracker. I created that in the background, but I'll show you all the fields. There's not much to it. I'm going to test the connection. Connection is good. Hit OK. So now we got our connection string. And save as correction string. Yes. Okay, so we only have one table here and it's just the bugs. So we are going to select all the fields for this. And at the same time we are going to go under advanced and we're going to generate... Hmm, just hit OK for this now. Custom SQL statements. I'm going to switch it to uh, specify custom SQL statement. Go to the next. So the first select statement is going to be pretty simple. We're just going to select everything out of the table. I'm just selecting all the columns and hit OK. So that's all we need there. And for the update, I'm not going to do anything for the update. For delete, I do. I'm going to have a delete button. So I'm just going to use Query Builder to add that table. And then I'm just going to say delete from bugs there or down here column bug ID bugs equals to bug ID. So that's just saying wherever the bug ID equals at bug ID, that's going to be the parameter delete the record. So we're going to hit OK. Next. Test the query. Got our data. Hit finish. And I'm going to click on auto format to give this a different look. Hit apply. OK. And let's do uh, enable paging and enable deleting. So now we got those options. And then I'm going to limit the amount of records that can be returned in this set. I'm going to say I only want, um, let's say, four, four records. That way we can see that the paging is working correctly. Okay, so got that. Got our data. Let's preview it. So 
So there we go. We got this already. Let's see if we delete a record. And that's already working. So that was really fast. Now the next part we're going to do is add a form view to this table and have it populate the data based on whatever action was taken on this table. So we need to add another option in here for selecting. So we need that select button there. Then we're going to go in form view, just drag a form view control over. There is our form view. So what we need to do is, you could use the same data source, but in order to get the um, kind of like separate functionality we need, we're going to create a new data source. Let's call it SQL data 2. We're going to use the same connection string. And we will specify the um, parameters. Actually, I think you can select generate insert delete based on. Okay, we'll try that and see what it does. The query finish. Auto format, do uh, this. Okay, I guess. Enable paging, dynamic content. No, that's all good. I'm not going to go in through all the CSS changes that was made to get that effect, but get the idea. So, so let's look at the source code. This is just the uh, design view split over the source code. And we're looking for a tag that says um, data source, SQL data source. And there's SQL data source 2. And it has a connection string. And it automatically generated these delete um, records, insert records, uh, select from records, and an update. It automatically generated all that stuff. And then if we look up in the source code higher, we're going to see the. Um, here it is. Um, you can see we did a custom job on this, so we only have the delete statement that we created and the uh, select all statement. Bugs. We could probably just change this to select star. All right. The next thing we need to do is we need to connect the select option to. We click select, we need to activate this page down here. We do that by adding a select parameter to the uh, SQL data source. So we're going to go back to the source code and underneath we got our, um, our different queries here and then we got our, our delete command and then we have delete parameters. So it's going to delete the parameter or delete the, uh, the record based on this uh, parameter. And we have insert parameters, but we don't have a select parameters. So I'm just going to go in here and select parameters. Then let's see. For the select parameters, we use a ASP control parameter. And for the control ID, it's going to be we're going to select the grid view. So it's using the select parameter for the SQL source 2, which is the form view from the grid view. So we're going to name that parameter, and it's going to be the bug ID. Property name is going to be the selected value and the type is it's going to be a double. Okay, so now we got a select parameter and that's pretty much it to set the select statement up.
So we're going to run this. So now we have the uh, grid view. We're just going to hit select. And it brings up the, uh, the form view with all that data in there. So you could click, um, you know, and edit the file from here. Six, click update. Did it update it? No, but if we were to reload the page, it would update it. What we want is we want it to kind of reflect the update immediately so it doesn't appear like, you know, nothing happened. So to do that, let me go over to design and we are going to stop debugging. Look at the parameters. And actually, I think this might be load. Look at our event handlers. All right, so we have our events on the form view. We're going to do a on item deleted, on item updated, on items inserted. So let's just start with. Um, we want it to be after the action has already taken place. So for this event, we're going to do, it's going to be really simple. We already got our grid view created, so we're just going to grid view one, and we're just going to do data bind. And that's, boop. there you go, data bind. So when an item is inserted, we're going to do a simple data bind. And I'm just going to copy and paste this because I'm going to use it again. We're going to do uh, item updated. And then I'm just going to paste the exact same event. And what was the other ones we got? We got uh, inserted, we got updated, and item deleted. Paste that again. So, all right, so let's try that now. Basically, all it does is just rebind the data uh, to the data grid area. So we're going to select a record, QR code. We're going to edit this record. We're going to call it QR code 54. And then we're going to click the update link. And there you go, updated automatically. If I was to delete this QR code 54, click the delete button, and the record automatically updates in the grid view. The rest of the changes to get the other page were just CSS and basically real lining out, um, relaying out all these ASP controls to something that makes a little bit more sense. But uh, it's pretty simple. That's it. Oh, one thing that was different when you first load up the site, um, we still need a button to create a new record without actually having to select a new record, right? So in order to do that, I'm going to go back to go back to our ASP page okay I'm gonna put a control just a link control right at the top so and drag down a link button and I'm gonna call this um, new record Then I'm going to create an event on click. We're going to do a uh, new record link. All right, so in our form view, so form view one, we're going to simply just change it, the mode from it, because right now it's in kind of like a hidden mode because we haven't selected anything. And we're going to use a form view mode. mode. And the mode we're going to put it into is insert. And that's it for that. So we load it up. And we got a new record. We click that. And it just creates the new record box. We can click cancel or go back to select. That's it for that.